just look at the quality, you guys. Super HD. Yes, it's giving mom vlogger. Period. Currently on March 12th at 2.54 p.m. Ooh, me and Tink are just now leaving the house, to be honest. We had a lot to do today, you guys, or just a lot to do in general. What, mama? Put the camera too high. I gotta fix it. There we go. <laughs> Life of being a parent, period. Here go Tinka, mama, since she obviously want to talk to you guys. Girl, who knows why she fussing. Y'all, ever since Sonny turned one, it's just been... A world of chaos, y'all, from the way the house looked to our whole little routine slash sleeping schedule. 
in the dumps, you guys. Like, I don't know what it was about that little one-year-old birthday that one day, but it's like she evolved in just that two little seconds. Her naps are like slowly going away, which is <laughs> I don't know what I'm finna do, y'all. That's the only time I have to actually get stuff done, a film, edit, whatever. I was barely getting away with one. What I'ma do with none? Like, what do y'all do? When your kids are toddlers, they no longer take naps. They're too old for nap time. What do y'all do all day? Because I thought I had to be a little entertaining clown. Now, I'm really about to have to pull out some tricks. When I was in, like, kindergarten or something like that, preschool, I remember nap time. Like, I specifically remember a time set every day that we had to go down for a nap. Half the time, we didn't want to take the nap, but you still had to go down. So, so obviously, I feel like that's supposed to be a part of the routine somehow. But it's like she's cutting out the naps completely. <laughs> Either she's cutting out the naps completely or she's just taking later nap. Normally her first nap is around like 10. And our first nap now, she waiting all the way till 4 o'clock. It's been stressing me out. It's been a real, real stressful last couple of days. She didn't go with her dad as long as she normally does because her birthday was Saturday. So I had her Friday and Saturday. He kept her Saturday night into Sunday and I had to get her back Sunday night. So I didn't get nearly as much chores and cleaning and editing and stuff done as I would have needed because her birthday vlog still has not even been edited and that definitely needs to go up pretty soon yeah it's just been a real chaotic last couple of days sunny got so many gifts you guys that also has been playing a part in the rooms and the house looking a mess because i've actually been having to go through and differentiate between some of the things she no longer needs and i can give away or sell or whatever the cause may be and I make space for all the new items that she got because y'all y'all literally went overboard on her registry you guys y'all brought so many items it is crazy i had over 26 packages and that was just from y'all that wasn't even from friends and family at the birthday parties if you haven't already checked out that video it'll be linked in the eye above i did film my whole unboxing sunny is going to town is you trying to talk to the people? I actually have a new camera monitor that I also have to set up for in the car. So that's going to be incorporated in this vlog somewhere. But to be honest, I really don't have a cutthroat plan of everything that's going to happen. I honestly don't know where this week is going to... What are you doing? I honestly don't know where this week is going to take us. But I know it's going to be a little emotional roller coaster because this little after one stage is hitting already. Before we get too far into it, make sure you guys like comment and subscribe follow me on all my social medias they'll be on the screen and in the description box down below earlier today i actually did do a little bit of cleaning up which is honestly real rare for me throughout the week actually am i supposed to be turning here i done turned off my gps don't even know where i'm going yep i gotta turn real rare for me to clean throughout the week just because i still have sonny so i honestly be feeling like it's no point if i'm gonna put something in a toy bin and she's gonna come right after me two seconds later and take it back out i don't be seeing the point i honestly let the mess pile up and pile up and pile up into the weekend i feel like that's been causing a lot of stress i have so much to do while she's not here the days aren't really so much of relaxing it's more of working and cleaning so i did get some of that stuff out the way because i did do a little tidying up after her birthday when she went with her dad it wasn't too too much it wasn't too extreme but the way my room was looking after i opened all them gifts it really looked like your girl didn't do nothing so i definitely had to do a little touch up somewhat because that room looked atrocious i went ahead and took down sonny's birthday decorations i cleaned up the kitchen and i did my room your girl still got to do her bathroom and sonny's room i kind of picked up as i was making a mess so it's really not too bad but i still definitely got to do that bathroom i don't know what i'm gonna get to that but that's probably gonna be another time for another day this really i don't feel like it i don't so that's just how i feel period but really quick back on this one-year-old subject a lot has changed in just these past couple of days guys it's so crazy her turning a year old has changed so much about her already she's staying up a lot later i'm not sure if that's due to the time change or if that's her body you know getting older she stays up to about like 10 since she stays up a lot later she wakes up about an hour later instead of waking up at seven she wakes up at eight that's been a thing these last couple of days normally like i said i know exactly what time she's going to bed i know exactly what time she's taking a nap 
for her nap times have even been messed up. She no longer takes her 10 o'clock nap. Yesterday we had a 4 o'clock nap and I was honestly so stressed out yesterday. I thought I wasn't going to get a nap time. Oh, your girl was going through it. I did have a, a mini mental breakdown. I can't lie, you guys. Yesterday was not a good day. We started the vlog off on a Tuesday. <laughs> I have so many videos to film, edit, and then get uploaded. And the fact that she didn't take her nap yesterday really threw off that schedule. So she was real cranky, but she didn't want to take a nap. I couldn't get nothing done, so just like I have to sit here, get more and more behind on schedule, and also hear your fussing at the same time. Your girl was just overstimulated. I think it was because I didn't have that extra day break I normally have. Mm, I kinda wasn't ready for you yet. Like, I still had stuff to do. That would be a lot easier to do when babies aren't here, but that's my baby. I'ma take her anytime she need to be took, period. But it still created a lot of stress. Yeah, yesterday was just... <laughs> my girl is also teething so I think that's also playing a huge huge part in all of this whining and such I've been applying teething gel like crazy can't lie it's definitely been helping but I don't know y'all she got them two teeth coming in at the top it looks like she's gonna have my signature gap y'all may not know cause your girl did have braces but I definitely had a huge gap in the front of my two teeth Sonya is looking like she's definitely gonna have that trait I feel like now when you see characteristics of yourself on your baby things that you may not have liked on yourself you actually find that were quite cute you know i never seen anything special about my eyes but everybody loved my eyes they were always like one of my biggest compliments but i was just like they just a little dark brown we're so special but when i look at my baby's eyes and everybody tells me she has my eyes it's like I see what y'all talking about. So it's the same thing. I was so insecure about that gal. But again, everybody was telling me how cute it was on me. And like, not everybody can rock it, but I rock it. And I was just not trying to hear it. I was like, you know, if I don't like something about myself, it's not the fact that y'all can tell me y'all like it and it's cute. It's going to change it. No, I still don't like it. I went and got my braces done. And to be honest, I definitely do not regret that choice. I love my teeth period that's also another big compliment I get but I know when I see it on my baby when I see that gap on my baby it's gonna be too cute and I'm gonna be like okay I see what people mean she do got them a two teeth coming in at the top one of them especially right here on this right side is peeking through real good anyways what I was saying before your girl got lost I really need to be paying attention I'm supposed to be on the way to my mama taking her her medicine that she gotta take at a certain time and it gotta be cold and I'm sitting here in the hot car <laughs> missing turns but like I was saying the right one in particular is real prominent like you can see it real good when she's laughing and cheesing that was the one that was coming in first and then the one next to it on the left started coming in a little bit after so you really can't see that one but I know it's causing pain because yesterday when I was applying the teething gel Sonny wouldn't even let me touch her gum I know that thing was sore but yeah my baby for now Four teeth soon, period. Don't play with her. She's growing up so fast, and it is a so crazy. Not my baby. It's already one. Ah, we on the way to two already. I'm gonna cry. Because next time I turn around, we're gonna be playing on her second birthday, and I'm not ready for it. I'm not. <laughs> like I mentioned, I'm on the way to my mom's job, and then we gotta stop a couple of places to make some returns. Sonny receives some more balls for one of her birthday gifts, so I'm gonna take that back to Walmart and get something that she actually needs. I already asked my friend Jalen. He ain't respond, but oh well, Jalen should have responded. <laughs> it says from Walmart, so hopefully Walmart accepts them. And then I brought these shoes from Ross, which I thought was super cute at the time. But now that I'm looking at them, I really don't like them just because of the black. I brought these for Sonny. They're a size five, so they don't fit just yet. And they were $19.99. But honestly, you guys, I think I'm gonna go ahead and return these just because of the black. I had a couple of outfits at home that I had already got for her that had strawberries on it and I thought would be super cute. I'm thinking the black is throwing it off because most of the outfits are white with strawberry patterns on it but these are black so i'm not too sure i still think they're a little cute it's just gonna be hard to find something to match with it and for 20 dollars, so i don't know we probably gonna return these as well i may or may not record that because they just supposed to be in and out type stuff but yeah i'm gonna pay attention and get to my mama job and i'm gonna talk to y'all when i talk to y'all y'all let me tell you why i went up to walmart to go return those balls and i was also gonna go to ross and go return those shoes but your girl forgot her wallet i didn't have my id like driving around with no license i thought it was in my car but i forgot i took a purse yesterday so i put it in my purse so i couldn't do any of those uh, refunds since we was at walmart i just stopped there and got some egg rolls because i've been craving the egg rolls for whatever reason i was so against trying them y'all i was so against trying them i ain't even gonna lie to 
to you. But one day I just did, and I'm like, you know what? <laughs> These things actually kind of good. Recently, every single time I go to Walmart, they never have them. They finally had them this time. I had to pick some up, and I got Tink some mashed potatoes. With the man there, he really hooked us up. We were supposed to get a little small, you know, 97 cent cup. I used to work at Walmart. Y'all should know what a little small cup look like. A little small 97 cent cup. But he gave us the big, the large one, and put the 97 cent sticker on it, period. He asked, he was like, what is this for the little one? I said, yeah. And he just got to scoop it. I said, hmm. Look at her crawling around. She still ain't trying to walk no more. After she walked one time, she don't, she don't even be trying to do it no more, huh? You give me a huggy. But I'm fit to put this, what is it? Called an inflatable playland. My friend Jalen actually got this for Tink's birthday. I didn't show y'all this in the birthday vlog because he brought it to us literally last night. He also got them balls that I was returning. She already got a lot of balls, so I was going to return them and just use the ones we have. Look, y'all, this is so cute. And she can put the balls in the hole. And there's also like a little hole at the top. Right now, she just has this pool in there. And summertime I'm coming right around the corner, so I think I'm gonna actually use that for what it's intended for. We finna open this up. Thank you, Jalen. Period. Y'all Tink love this little playpen. Now that I put it in my room, she stayed in it. And I'm so glad I didn't get rid of it. Show him your bunny. Show him your rabbit. You don't wanna show him? <laughs> Y'all, she carries yeah. this thing around everywhere. She be sleeping with it, everything. She really like it because it's silk. I'm probably gonna end it. Ooh. <laughs> Now, why they just put the balls loose in the box like that? I didn't even know it came with more balls. Look at Tink. Already trying to gather them all up. Uh-uh. These are not going around the room. Uh-uh. Don't knock that down. I just picked all of these up. Look at her. She finna go get it. You so funny. She finna love this. Oh, my gosh. Y'all went all out for her birthday for real. We got so much stuff. I'm trying to make sure I use it all. Oh, this thing actually kind of big. This is gonna take a lot of breathing, a lot of puffs. Let me go see if we got a little air mattress pump or something. Okay, so I found this little pump. Hopefully it worked. I think last time when I tried to use this, it didn't do too much, but I'm not gonna sit here and puff and puff and puff. So it better do something. Oh, it's getting bigger. Isn't this cool? It is blowing up though, y'all. It's gonna take a minute. Got a little tape on your foot. You wouldn't have that if you wear socks.
mama. Put on your seatbelt. Ready to go bye-bye? You look so pretty, mama. <laughs> Hi. show y'all my setup look how cute period shout out to ty for purchasing this for me this is now my car camera tripod so my camera sits right up here perfect view i also got my car monitors say hi sonny my baby looks so cute shout out to love view for sponsoring today's video y'all love view came in clutch with their new bm2 baby car monitor y'all know i've already worked with this brand before and i absolutely love the quality for the most part since i've had sonny i've always had a car monitor in the beginning we did start off with the mira but i've learned how dangerous those things can be in hot weather and y'all know we live in florida i didn't want to risk the chance of my baby getting burned my baby's car seat on fire so we went ahead and set up our luck view camera and have been using it ever since but y'all they've upgraded me i'm glad about it oh my gosh this monitor is so sleek and slim it just gives my dashboard that type of aesthetic vibe especially with my camera up here yes it's giving mom vlogger period content creator lifestyle and i love it and just look at the quality you guys super hd this monitor also features a colored nighttime mode real different every other camera i've had had a black and white during the night the fact that you can see your baby in full quality hd during the night so we just had to upgrade and set this up for my baby it just gives me a peace of mind while driving being a mom and driving can already be kind of scary so luck you got us moms in mind okay they got us covered the camera is also no longer with a strap and i love that is y'all can see the camera back there all nice and hidden i completely love how little and compact everything thing is if you guys do want to shop luck view i have their link in the description box below along with a coupon code on the screen my go-to my day ones i wouldn't recommend it if i didn't use it myself i'm gonna show you guys more of this nighttime mode later on in the vlog but for now i just had to show you guys my new mom gadget look i feel real bougie this is how you know i'm a mom things i get excited for Good morning, everybody. Today is the next day. It is currently Wednesday at a 1.22. Me and Sonny is back out and about. This time, your girl got her wallet, and we're going to do these returns to Ross and to Walmart. Last night, I didn't get to finish showing you guys Sonny playing in her ball pit that my friend Jalen got for her first birthday. Just because, y'all, that thing took forever to blow up. Oh, my gosh. Even with the air pump, it probably took about, like, two hours. It's still not even as fully blown up up as it should be some parts a little lean and over or whatever but i was just over it so like i was saying before my camera rudely overheated i ended up giving sonny a bath and everything she got a little fussy and a little tired and the thing still wasn't done like <laughs> but i ended up just putting the balls in it and calling it a day but i'm gonna definitely show you guys her playing in it when we get home just morning that was her little playground okay she loved it she was throwing the balls all over my room like she always do <laughs> and shout out to tyra for purchasing this cameraman Y'all can't tell me the angle ain't eating. I definitely needed this. I really, really, really appreciate it. I know I've said it, I appreciate it like 70 times, but that should just let you know how much I really appreciate it. Girl, it was a bad accident. Pray everybody's safe. It's home to their family and loved one. Nobody's injured. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. Did I just drive around the whole parking lot looking for shade? Yes, so I can talk to you guys so my camera don't overheat. Yes, <laughs> and there's definitely somebody sitting in their car right over there, but I don't care because y'all my people, so I'm going to talk to y'all. I got some stuff to tell you. I've been having a lot of people in my ear mentioning transitioning Sonny off of formula to regular milk, which honestly, I didn't know it was supposed to be this soon. Once she hit one, it's automatically supposed to be getting her on 2% whole milk, almond milk, whatever. To be fair, I honestly don't know where to start. She is on soy-based formula for being lactose intolerant as a baby, y'all. It tore her 
stomach up screaming and hollering every time she had to make a bowel movement and I'm just kind of scared to transition off of something that we so used to. I really don't know where to start I'm trying to think if we should go ahead and start on whole milk or I drink 2% milk and I've given her like bites out of my cereal seems to not have did anything to her stomach so far that's not just drinking milk you know yeah I didn't know where to start with that and two I didn't know it was supposed to be so soon I'm thinking okay I'm still getting the formula on the wick obviously we're supposed to still be using formula right I don't know y'all but I talked to some people ask some friends that have you know babies a little bit older than me that are already one or two or whatever and they said you gotta wean them on it so like start off with two ounces like two percent milk whole milk one percent whatever and then the rest formula so that's what I did just morning I gave her two ounces two percent milk the rest formula and it came out to like a seven ounce bottle she drank the whole thing and she hasn't made a bowel movement yet so I don't know if that's a good thing or bad I can't tell if her stomach hurting or gonna be runny or not but we did give her some real milk this morning so clap it up for my big girl she actually knocked out right now that's why I'm able to sit and talk to you guys real quick before we run into Ross I did a TikTok earlier and I made Sonny a panda pillow that was super cute and that was also a promotional item so I'm glad I got that out the way I was gonna drop off you guys' giveaway item I'm supposed to be giving away Sonny's six to nine month clothing that I did a little closet clean out on in my last vlog if you haven't already went to go check that out it'll be linked in the eye above go watch it but I just had a whole a whole bunch of people spam me on my Instagram about one of these clothes and I was thinking about only picking three people just because I am paying for shipping myself I also just got rid of all of those Amazon boxes from Shani's birthday wish list unboxing and I'm kind of saucy I did that because I definitely needed those boxes to ship these items off that's why I'm really thinking about shipping them tomorrow because I don't even have the boxes on me right now to go ahead and package them up we just gonna see where the day takes us some more teethers she loves these little wafers and she was completely out this is my first time trying this super baby mum mum brand but they were cheaper so i went ahead and got these and it said organic it's an organic super berries flavor blueberry strawberry and raspberries nine times out of ten she loves those no matter the brand so they gonna get it regardless and then i got me some pads tmi warning i'm letting y'all know now you got a weak stomach you don't want to hear about girly problems go ahead and skip ahead so if y'all haven't been keeping up with the vlogs you probably don't know but your girl has been having problems with her period and birth control for a little while now to the point girl was bleeding for a week straight okay heavy bleeding and all of that was happening on the depo shot y'all so i had to get off of that because it was like four months straight non-stop bleeding and your girl was just sick of it attitude was on 10,000. could nobody put up with me so i had to get off of that and i transitioned into the pills that didn't help anything so we tried the patch which has been amazing so far it really did regulate my period you guys like i had it on the schedule and it'll go off with like in a week you know a normal time frame ended up 
not using the patch anymore just because I wasn't doing anything like I wasn't sexually active so I was like I'm putting my body through all of this stress with this birth control for no reason since I stopped using the patch which has been like a month or two now I haven't had a period <laughs> like I have not had a period at all I know I can't be pregnant like I wasn't even worried about that it was just the fact of when is it gonna come like I need to be ready I don't want no irregular period because that's just too risky you know so to sum it all up I had my period yesterday last night around like six or something and i was pretty good i was like okay here we go maybe now the birth control is out of my system it's gonna start on a routine i don't know i'm gonna keep y'all updated i don't know what it was from last night till just morning but woo! when i woke up y'all stomach on 10 like i could barely move sonny was crying she was hungry you know she needed me to tend to her in the morning our little morning routine but i was just like so focused on that pain that's why we really got a late start to our day because i can barely move <laughs> i hope this is just like a one-time thing it's the first day back to getting it back on schedule so maybe that's why it's doing what it do but i can't go through this every month i'm gonna need to get it together hopefully we not gonna be on it for months Whew. who wants to sit up here and have to worry about changing their pad 24 7 feel ooky and mushy it's hot outside so we are back home i really hope the lighting doesn't look too too crazy but as promised i wanted y'all to see sunny playing in her little ball pit it isn't all the way blown up just because this thing did take a while so it's bending just a little bit but we're not gonna talk about that she won't go inside of it i think she's like he kind of scared and like a little claustrophobic because when we was in the elevator she had a little moment so i think closed spaces is a no-no for two. Oh, and look y'all this is the pillow that we made or I made earlier for Tink. Isn't this so cute? I don't know what we should name her, y'all. I'm thinking sassy because Tink was being very sassy throughout the process of me putting her together. That was so cute. I made a TikTok on it. I brought Build a Bear to us since I did want to take her to Build a Bear for her birthday. Still planning on it, by the way. Y'all, I have a one year old now, and the plan for her first birthday was to take her to Build a Bear. Well, that's still the plan, but since we don't have one close to us, I found the next best thing. I've been struggling Ooh, to find activities yeah. that we can do together that she will still enjoy. So I brought Build a Bear to us, or should I say Build a Panda? <laughs> can you give it lots of kisses so it can forever feel love? see sonny was not feeling them heart activities so let's just pray her panda grows up to be a nice young bear okay because she sure did not give her the jump start to life she needed it honestly was very simple and easy to put together the kit supplied all the glue and thread that you may need which y'all think we should name her i'm thinking sassy because i'm feeling she's gonna grow up with a whole lot of tood do y'all see sonny back there staring at herself in the mirror she knows she beautiful I ended up taking out a lot of that filling and sewing down the seams just because it was busting out, okay? What are you doing? I just, I, I really she was just trying to tell y'all to make me CEO at a local Build-A-Bear because, baby, I ate down all that hard work. It paid off. My baby loved it, y'all. Go get your baby one of these. I'll definitely have it linked because this was a cute experience. Yeah, we did the whole little give the heart kisses so it'll forever be loved. Give it a nice big hug so it can stay nice and warm. But she wasn't too much enjoying it. You like your pillow? She didn't enjoy the process of me making it, but she definitely likes Mrs. Sassy. Huh. You got slob all over this. Ooh, girl. Come on. Come on. Uh oh, you got too happy. Y'all, so update on Sonny Poo. My baby's walking. Well, she's taking steps here and there. We actually caught it on live a couple of weeks back, a week before her first birthday. Look at her go. She been getting up and she been moving, y'all. But for some reason, I've only seen her walk in my room. Living room, if she's walking, she's holding on to the couch or the table. Or she definitely won't walk in the kitchen on the tile. And then everybody else, she won't walk for. I was the first one to see her take that run. If you watch the live, I'm probably going to eat some other Come on. Come on. Ah. Oh, you almost had it. Now come on, go back, go back, go back, go back. Stand up here. Y'all 
Let's see if Finna Walker look like Finna Walker. Hold on. <laughs> Come on. She only took a couple of steps for them. So if y'all was there to see it, give me that. So if y'all was there to see it, that's like an iconic moment. A milestone in life right there that y'all witnessed right before y'all eyes. Look at my baby. Because I just noticed how fast my baby is growing up. I'm going to see if she does a good little one for y'all real quick. I know y'all been seeing her doing little teasers here and there in the background. But I'm going to see if she actually does like a good little stretch. Not a circus clown, but she did good. Proud of our baby. Growing up for real. My little one year old. Y'all, I got a one year old. And why I forgot to tell you guys her little shopping cart. I got her. If y'all haven't watched her birthday vlog where I'm wrapped all of her birthday gifts, this is one of the items that I did end up purchasing for her. I thought it was super cute and perfect because y'all know back in the day, your girl used to work for Walmart. That was like one of my most popular videos. A day in the life of a single mom working a nine to five. I'll have that video linked in the eye above if you missed it. But I just thought this was so cute. Not the official Walmart cart, y'all. And it came with the little basket as well. Tons of plastic food. It also came with like, it also came with little cardboard milk cartons cereal boxes and stuff like that but i did end up throwing those in the trash because she's in her eating stage right now and little traces of paper and ink and all of that was gonna be all in her mouth but y'all she stays in this little grocery cart it'll be so cute to have her in walmart and just let her be pushing it around of course when she get this walking down pack i just had to show y'all because this was too perfect ow why you tearing me up <laughs> Oh, <laughs> 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 
you saying hi to y'all? <laughs> hey y'all, good morning. It is March 14th at 8.45. Me and Tink up early today getting our day started. <laughs> Y'all know these last couple of days we've been having a rough start to the day, but today we being real productive, huh? So I went through all of Tink's clothes in my last vlog and got rid of a ton of her six to nine month clothing. My baby just turned one, so she growing fast and they no longer fit. But instead of donating them to Once Upon a Child like I normally do, I decided to go ahead and do a little giveaway with my e-fam. I posted a story on Instagram yesterday saying if you had a baby girl, preferably already born, because I had a lot of people texting me and their baby wasn't even here yet. And I was feeling that it made more sense to give it to somebody who needs it now rather than, you know, in six or nine months. So I posted that and I had a ton. A ton of you guys hit me up. It was low-key kind of hard going through and picking out these names. I did pick a total of three people just because I only had three boxes. So hopefully I don't got no clothes left over. I've already stated it's just going to be a random box of assorted six to nine month clothing from sleepers to outfits from you to old you just get what you get one of the boxes that i was actually planning on using came in yesterday i think this is one of sonny's birthday gifts that came in a little bit late because y'all are still ordering off that registry which is crazy we are forever grateful happy first birthday sonny boo from ashley aka still ashley nicole on youtube so if y'all want to go check her out her YouTube name is still Ashley Nicole. Y'all see her playing in y'all clothes? She's taking them all out. That's really why I'm trying to get them out of my room because this is what she do every day. You trying to see your birthday gift? Yeah. Look what you got, girl. Thank you, Ashley. Sonny got another hairpin. So she definitely needed this for her birthday. I asked for a whole bunch of clacker balls and barrettes and clips and beads and things like that just because I didn't have any personally. Only thing I really had was hair ties and bows. All the rest of the stuff came from her Gigi. So we got a whole bunch of people that ordered Sonny some hair supplies. So she definitely needed another bin to keep it in. Y'all see the little detailing pocket up here. Maybe for like earrings or something, rubber band. Oh, wait, wait. Okay, period. I didn't know it came with this. We got some more rubber bands. These look like the plastic kind. Oh, you got some stickers, Tink. And some clips to start you off. That's so cute. I think she has all of these already, honestly. I may throw these in one of y'all little giveaway, period. Thank you, Ashley. We definitely gonna be using this. First box we got going to is Zaya. I ended up picking her just because she was one of the first people to actually hit me up from the video and not my actual Instagram post. Then we got Shantaya. She slid up on my Instagram story. I went to her page and she got about four different names in her bio for her kids. So I was like, you know what? <laughs> she definitely needs these clothes more than anybody else. Third pick, shout out to Kavasi. Her baby was just six months and I think that was perfect age range. I'm gonna go ahead and pack this stuff up. It's probably gonna be a little time lapse so Tink can watch her show. But I'm gonna show you guys. What? But I'm gonna show you guys all the boxes full and stuff. She don't want me to stop y'all. Uh oh. Uh oh. In a military roll these that's how i do her clothes in her closet anyway and i know it'll save a lot more space rolled up real nice being tiny like a little burrito <laughs>
to go bye bye. <laughs> we finna go. And yes, we're going to the post office in our PJs. I don't care. I was gonna put some clothes on, but I kind of felt bad me getting ready and then not getting my baby ready. So, so I decided to join the party. She going out in her pajamas. I'm going out in my pajamas. I ain't gonna never have my baby be an outskirt. Period. Y'all, it took me some time to pack them boxes. I ain't even gonna lie. A lot longer than I expected. It is now 10:18. We are on the way to the post office. See all these uh, boxes. I honestly don't know how I'm finna get all of this done. I got Sonny with me and I. I'm by myself so how am I gonna carry Sonny and these three boxes in this post office and they all stuffed to the brim I tried to make sure I gave everybody equal amount if they had like a little fuzzy sleeper I wouldn't give them two fuzzy sleepers I'll give it to somebody else if they already had a couple of PJs in there I would throw an outfit so most of the clothes was PJs but I still wanted to make sure I incorporated some outfits in there as well I want everybody to have some of everything some clothes some pajamas some hair bows yeah I even took and threw all of them hair bows in there. Headband bows are now too tight for her head. I don't know if it's just because she got bigger or she got so much hair on her head, but we are all pulling up to the post office. Hopefully they're not gonna charge me too, too much because this is coming out of pocket. It don't look packed though, that's good. In and out, Tank, in and out. Hello, do y'all have like a little dolly? me to do no more giveaways why well, i just spent i just spent 50 dollars on y'all so i hope y'all get it appreciate it get much use out of it because i thought i was gonna walk out of here you know spend a little 20 five dollars here five dollars there every package was over ten dollars but anything for my efam though y'all really be coming in clutch make sure to tune into every video follow me on my instagram wish me sonny a happy birthday by her all them gifts so had to do it for y'all just this one time y'all been asking so this is my giveaway for now till i become a millionaire <laughs> <laughs> 50 dollars 50 i couldn't do an anonymous package so i had to put my address on there which i honestly really hate but y'all just better hope y'all get it because i put my old address on there i ain't put my new address i ain't that slow you get it you get it if you don't it's just gonna be lost out there somewhere because i ain't getting that package back <laughs> vlog so it's a little later in the day it is now 6 24 y'all seen i gave sonny a little bath earlier that's because my mom took her for a couple of hours her bracelet actually broke so she took her to the mall to go get it fixed and while they were gone and out doing what they do shopping out and about spending some quality time with her granddaughter and while she did that i was at home editing i love her for that because i definitely needed that time to get some work done because i have a ton of promotions to get done which i'm not even complaining that's all hell to the lord almighty this is what i asked for this is what i wanted to do i wanted to be an influencer so promotions means money i just need the time to do them yesterday was actually a real nice day you guys it was real sunny and hot and they just announced that your girl's a favorite snow cone place it has opened back up for the summertime if y'all don't know i stayed at bams the whole time i was pregnant every lunch break your girl was here. 
<laughs> pulling up in the Bams parking lot. They are a New Orleans style snow cone little shop and it's real popular in my city. So, so, so good. And I was a little sad when they closed down for the winter because I really wanted Sonny to experience it. I just know my baby's going to love this. So we was going to go yesterday, but my mom said, you know, I'm off Thursday, so Thursday would be a better day. It's not as hot. <laughs> it's not as bright. It's real gloomy outside. And Sonny sleeps. So I don't know if she going to get to try the ice. She better wake up before <laughs> your girl eat it up. This thing is so good. I don't know. <laughs> Mm. I ended up getting the kiwi mango flavoring and of course I had to add the condensed milk on top because that's just what makes it pop. I didn't put so many people onto this place because they the bomb diggity period. But anyways, I am loving this car mount. I just get so excited when I get in the car because I know I ain't got to worry about finding a place to put my camera to vlog. It's just great angling and already taken care of. Guess what else I got? Period. <laughs> Thank you girl. A good little seventeen dollars. You ready to try it? Come here. <laughs> Kiwi and mango. Do you remember? Yeah. So this is what she had every day in my belly. Y'all, when I gave her a bath, I did wash her hair. We use these new shampoo and conditioner my mom got. I showed you guys a little bit. My camera was dying. Diva Curl. They did a so good i know y'all gonna be asking so we use those two shampoo and conditioner and then i put the cantu curling cream in there and this is how it turned out cute something huh, i also greased her scalp with the blue magic hair grease but that's just like a every time i wash it type thing i always grease her scalp and her edges and such that's kind of why we rocking the fro right now because I'm starting to see a lot of little bumps around her edges. Even though I be putting the rubber bands real loose, I'm thinking maybe when her GG be braiding her hair, it's starting to get a little tension around her edges. So I'm just trying to let it go free right now. She just gonna be rocking the frown, but I think it's cute. So yeah, we are gonna be leaving the hairstyles alone for right now. <laughs> you gotta slow down for you get a brain freeze. For you get a brain freeze. <laughs> Okay, Tika. <laughs> Everybody, happy Friday. The time is currently 9:37. Don't mind your girl's hair. I honestly have no idea what I got going on here. 
we up early dropping Tink Wink off to her dad's house. Well, his mom is off today, so actually, Gigi's gonna be the one picking her up. She texted me and she was like, whatever time tomorrow you wanna drop her off, she gonna be there to pick her up. I say leave at 9.30, be there at 10, period, cause your girl got a lot of stuff to get done. As always, your girl is a little workaholic, okay? I left Walmart in probably been working 10 times harder but my baby looks so cute she's rocking one of her v day outfits i wish i would have got some pictures before i dropped her off oh my mom calling me back soon as we got in the car she took them shoes off but i didn't even leave the driveway yet she took them off <laughs> y'all i don't know what it is about these socks and shoes but sorry do not keep them on always missing a sock we always missing a shoe she either be pulling them off they come off kick them off something it'd be so funny because when we be in the stores it's a million people stop me and telling me oh she lost the shoe or she lost the sock i'd be like no she ain't losing i just put it in my purse because she keep taking it off <laughs> i'm not gonna keep putting back on the same sock <laughs> sorry as soon as i get back i'm gonna finish editing that birthday vlog and i gotta go through and clean just about the whole house all over again tons and tons of decluttering for sonny's first birthday we got a heap load of sippy cups we're trying to transition from the bottles so i'm gonna go through and i'm gonna get rid of a lot of bottles there's some that we don't even have the tops to so i need to toss those out the rest of them, i got a girl that already hit me up and says she's in need of the bottle so i'm gonna go ahead and donate those to her i still gotta put up a lot of sonny's birthday stuff her hair accessories i gotta organize because she got a whole bunch of those clean the bathroom clean the kitchen just clean 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 and edit clean and edit that's what we doing this weekend so we dropping her off early she looks so cute so i'm gonna definitely have to show you guys before she goes with her grandma Drop the roof and let the smoke cook it. i got diamonds doing this nice and both Say hi, little dingas. <laughs> Sonny just woke up from her little nap. 10 o'clock is normally her little nap time, so she took a little nap in the car. Huh, oh, pretty mama? She looks so cute. What's down there? Trash. Oh, my lip gloss. She got my lip gloss. So we're sitting here waiting on Gigi. I always seem to make it here before her. Look at your outfit, mama. This super cute jean jacket is supposed to go with it. Y'all see the little daisies on the pocket? Low-key kind of hot outside, so I just brought it just in case she needs it for later. Y'all, I thought she had a doctor's appointment today, so honestly, I wasn't even going to be able to drop her off as early as I am. But that ain't until Monday, so I thought I was going to get to show you guys her one-year doctor's appointment. But, but I don't know. Since it is Monday, there may either be a different vlog or I may just make a little TikTok. Which we'll see how that goes, because it seems like TikTok going down. It may not be here too much longer. I ain't even too pressed about because they weren't trying to pay me my coin anyway long as youtube don't go nowhere please don't go nowhere i'm just now getting started but yeah i just wanted to show y'all sunny poo because i thought she looked this super cute we gonna sit here and wait on her gg and then after i drop her off i'm gonna start editing the birthday vlog so i probably won't talk to you guys again until later on tonight when i have time to do my actual cleaning and decluttering so yeah i guess i'll see you guys then say bye bye sunny this is the last time y'all gonna see her in the vlog so y'all say bye bye say bye bye okay she don't want to talk to y'all <laughs>
Brain sucks. 